Hi, this is Pavel with the Java exercise from the book Java Software Solutions and this is uh, chapter 5, chapter 4, exercise 5. We will be doing some uh, object-oriented programming, creating a class called book that contains instance data for the title, author, publisher and copyright date. We will define the book constructor that accepts and in initializes these data. We will include setters and getters for all instance data and we will also include a toString method that returns a nicely formatted multi-line description of the book. And we will create a driver class called bookshelf whose main method instantiates and updates several book objects. Now in this exercise everything will be hard-coded, in other words we will not ask the user for the input, we will code the input directly into our, uh, into our driver class. Okay, so I created two objects, one's book and one's called uh, bookshelf, which has the main method, which is going to be our driver class. All right, so let's do the book first. And uh, we'll need some private variables. Private variables. And uh, variables, there you go. Now uh, we need a title of the book. Again, I'm I'm doing uh, underscore for up for my private variables because in our constructor I will use uh, arguments that are called title, but without the underscore. And this way, I will be able to see which one's which direct uh, right away without trying to without using the this keyword like this dot title or something like that. So another one we need is the author. And another one is the publisher. And what was it? The copyright. Uh, so uh, I'll do it a string too. So we have four strings, and uh, we will pass. Uh, we will instantiate them or initialize them in our constructor. So our constructor goes here, and it's gonna be very simple. It's gonna be pub public uh, book, and it will accept a string called title, string called author string called publisher and string called copyright like i said these are the arguments without the and you know the, the you can clearly distinguish them simply by the fact that they don't have the underscore so these are our private variables uh, let me in fact make it explicit that it's they're private by default they are but you know this way it is clear Okay, so we have our variables and now we have to initialize them. So our title will equal to the argument title that the user supplies. Our author will equal to the argument author and our publisher will of course equal to publisher. And finally our copyright will equal to copyright. So now we have our we will, this will initialize our values with whatever the whatever we will supply into the constructor. Now, uh, there's no uh, input validation. We technically don't need any getters and setters, but just for the practice, let's do that anyway. Getters. So it's gonna be a public string, and we will get get title, and this one will return our private variable or the value of it that's in a title now our public uh, uh, public it's gonna be a string again we'll call it get uh, author and this one will of course return the author and we'll do the other two so the publisher so get publisher and we will return publisher and of course last but not least it's the copyright so get copyright and it will of course return as expected copyright again this is not really necessary for this particular exercise because we are not going to be using them 
but we may use them actually in the when we in the driver class i'll see how that goes but it's still you know good practice just to have them that way if it is let's do the so that get us to centers which are not needed because we are not going to be doing any validation at all so but again it's a good practice especially if you are new to object-oriented programming where am i with my mouse so this public void set uh, title and it will expect uh, an argument string title and it will set the title <laughs> to the title but this is a it will set a private variable title to the argument title uh, okay so uh that's one setter let's do the other three quickly set uh after it's gonna be a string again an argument will be the author and it will set a private variable author to the argument author and uh, i forgot i forgot l here it's supposed to be public so a public void what is it set publisher and string it expects publisher and it sets the publisher or the uh, private publisher to the argument publisher all right so um oh one more so i was too happy too quick string i'm sorry that's void because these are setters they don't return any value they just set the values so they're void set uh copyright to a string copyright and copyright x right Oof. all right like this c sharp better and the visual too because this is much faster i don't have to code it it's kind of built in the few you know shortcuts anyway this is java so let's do everything manually like we're supposed to right so uh last thing we need is the to string method so string to string and we will format the output over here um, we just minimize this a little like that so we can see better and we will return we will return a title uh how would i format it i'm uh, sorry not like that so title and if we will pass the title we could also pass the get title you know and like the, the method but man we don't need to we can do we can operate since this is within the class we can operate directly with the private variables we are not changing them over here anyway we are simply outputting them so uh, title plus uh, this is gonna be on a new line but i need Oh, I hope it didn't freeze on me now. Oh, okay. So uh, on a new line, we'll do the author. So author, and I once again I forgot. Uh, there, there you go. Well, I will even learn to spell now. And a little space. It's, it's really slow. It's like freezing on me. All right, but there you go. So plus. And what do we do? Uh, we will pass the author and plus new line plus and it's going to be a publisher. And let me do it once again with the parent uh, with the quotes since it's a string and it's an output, so a publisher and it will take publisher. Oh, come on what is this why is it freezing on me it doesn't like java all right so uh, it's our publisher with underscore and finally we'll do 
uh, what was it? The copyright. So we will do copyright, and we will enter the copyright private variable that we have. Okay. So, uh, but at the end, I'm going to do an additional new line. Actually, let me do two because there will be more than one uh, one book. Uh, there will be, you know, like a uh, this way. There will be two new lines before another book is being output. Okay, so this is our formatted output, our two-string method uh, for our book, and that's really all there is to the uh, to the book. You can go to shelf and uh, we can do the uh, create the app and call them. So uh, let's do that and. Uh, Let's create a book object called book one, book two, book three. Uh, that's enough. Just three books. That's good enough. So um, we created a, we created variables, but we didn't create the object yet. So let's do book one equals new book, and let's do I don't know programming in Java. That's going to be the title. That we will pass into the constructor and the author will be i don't know uh, james smith or whatever and uh, the publishing would be i don't know bubbles publishing why not maybe one day and finally the date and it's a string though but it's a copyright date since it's a string, we can format it something like this. So let's do 5, 1, I don't know, 2014. So this is our first book. Let me just copy that. And I will create the other two. So this is going to be our book 2 and book 3. So this way, we have all three objects created. Let me just uh, change the titles and you know the data. So programming in, let's say, vb.net. And this is going to be the author would be Pavel, that's me, and it will be uh, I don't know computer publishing, and it was uh, twelve. Uh, I don't know what day today is, so let's uh, let's do twelve five two thousand fourteen, and finally programming in C sharp, and this could be I don't know. Uh, Daniel, somebody, and uh, I really don't know any of the publishers, so some publishing, and let's say this one was uh, on February 1st, 2013 was the release date for this particular book. But anyway, we have the object, we're passing the data, the, all the strings, into our constructor, we pass in our title, author, publisher, and copyright in the right order. They have to be in the right order. Otherwise, we would assign. You know, if you if you put the author first here, then over here it would treat the author name as a title. So they have to be in the right order. Okay. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's now do system dot out dot print line. And we will simply print the objects. Remember, since we are creating the uh, create to string method, this is what's going to be output when we simply output the object. It will output the data from the string method. All right, so it will output formatted uh, information that we entered before. So same that out print line. Uh, what did I print line? And it's going to be a book two. And finally, print line. Except I need a period there. Print line, book three. So now when I run it, uh, I should get an output of simply output option, but it, it should be in the formatted uh, manner. In the formatted output, formatted output. So uh, I'm running. It. It is a little slow today. I don't know why it is. Uh, what's going on here? 
steel building. Oh, here's the and as you can put programming James Smith, Powers Publishing, except I the new line. So but, but it's uh, separate instead with the two lines like I entered before. So over here go to our, our copyright uh, or the copyright so the public I'll simply do Line, the card be on the new line. So now, later the four lines for each of the it. So it simply information into the constructor. Like I said, we didn't use any. We didn't use the getters and setters. We don't have to have them because it's the end of the exercise. That this is uh, there's nothing to do with. It, but uh. If you wanted to expand it, you would need them, so it's a good practice to mount. To tie them up, new to this, to kind of get the kind of like a muscle memory, so you know how the format goes. So. All right, so now, how about we use them at least a little? Um, I'm over here, and I'll do something like uh, let me just scroll this down a little. Let's say I'll change the book three title. After I initialize it, I initialize it to, you know, programming in C sharp. So, but what if I said just the title? Set uh, I'll call the uh, set title, and I will set the title to programming in C plus plus. And this should override this, and we should uh, instead of programming in C sharp, it should output programming in C plus plus once I add the quotes there so let's see if that works um, and you can see that it did so uh, even though we pass the programming in C sharp into the constructor over here we overrode it we use the set title and uh, which expects ex uh, which sets the title our private variable title to whatever we supplied and we supplied programming in C++ so now our title equals programming in C++ even though over here from the first time we provided programming in C sharp which was this title so when the object was created the title was set to programming in C sharp but later we overrode it with the with one of these getters to get title we could do the same with the get author get publisher get copyright after everything is set uh, in, in inst you know, after we instantiate the object with these getters and setters or with, with the setters we can change the information even though after the object was already created and with the getters we would simply return the information 